special adventure, huh? And we did the full thing. Like we were not sure in the beginning if it was possible to walk everything. We haven't heard about anyone recently doing it. And we did it. And um, yeah, that's beautiful. Great way to end a, a great hike in great company, in a great country. completed successfully so hiking the Waitikugli National Trail from end to end. How was that experience? It was wild. Uh, for us we couldn't find any information of anybody that had done the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So we were a little bit like is it possible? Can we do this? Seed was planted in our heads. We were not sure if, if we're gonna do it, if it even was possible to do it. And also locally here, every single person we asked said, no, you cannot do it. It's not cleared yet. And to our knowledge, you are the first one to do it trail in entirety after Hurricane Maria. I learned about the trail like more than six years ago when I was also in Dominica just before Maria and I thought wow that's so cool that this is this trail is developed it's I think it was something very unique let's uh, share our uh, story <laughs> it was an adventure just to to reach the shores of Dominica by sailboat so uh, but before leaving on that boat we had the Huati Kabuli National Trail in mind. In my opinion, probably the best way to discover Dominica, nature and culture. A hike that goes all the way from the south of Dominica to the north. Mm. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, I think so. was an avid hiker. Would that be after? Yeah. All right, here we are at the southern terminus of the Waitikabudi National Trail. And I don't know if it's the official uh, <laughs> uh, monument, but uh, we put our hand there and then from here, it's just gonna go north. Uh, in terms of highlights for this trail, is like the wildness of it. And it's the rivers. The rivers. Yeah, well, uh, to get to a place, I would say, this remote uh, with uh, your hiking equipment, that's probably the first challenge. So here we have the gas station. We're just entering town. And what's going on over here? I found the first marker yellow and blue oh yeah that's the first marker the first one we found <laughs> how are you um, 
And yeah, a bit of preparation is uh, is important for this trail. I think it's, it's key to bring things, I think, to the island because mm. things to find is limited. If you want to do the whole thing, you either need a hammock or a tent. Sleeping mat is nice to have. Further than that, you really don't need that much. And also on all segments, water can be found, so you don't have to carry a lot of water either. Segment two, Sourfière Estate to Bellevue Shopping. A little bit more clear is the information about the trail. So on each segment have been these information boards, but sometimes they were disappeared by damage or the sun. So we couldn't always get the information from that sign. Mark now is way up there, right at them shop. Okay. You take it and you go there, but you get to one to just go up there and you get in it. Always been as easy. Some parts of the trail are a little bit overgrown. Sometimes um, the signals were a little bit missing. You see, it's a fruit trail. Yeah. Well, I want that one, oh. that red one. Yeah. Thank you. Wild raspberry. Yeah, it's so wild. The shelters that you have in different places are actually really nice, but often the roof didn't exist anymore, so we couldn't actually really use it as a shelter. Good morning, uh, guys. Uh, here we are uh, on segment three. The people make the hike, you know? Yeah. Like people like you, say hi, and now we're here. Yeah. A nice meeting you, man. Okay. What's your name? I'm Johnny. Johnny. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Susan. Susan. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Yeah, man. The names. No, man. All right. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. Journey, journey. Have a good. Uh, yeah, man. Good day. Sunday. Sunday. Our, uh, rental car for the week. Pretty much the first uh, the river we're gonna cross. Here we are towards the end of segment three already, and um, yeah, so far it has been really, really good. We haven't come across any other hikers. Yeah, the trail has been uh, pretty uh, generous uh, marked uh, in most places. Yeah, I think uh, we missed an exit only once. Water apple, star fruit, mm. so many fruits, huh? Mm. But not all of them were trespassing. No. This was maybe the first time. Okay. We didn't know we were trespassing. Oh, look at <gasps> this. There's some goats there too. No, most of the road to go there. Ah, oh, yeah. So beautiful here, huh? So you enjoy my country? Wow. Oh, we love it. Mm -hmm.
You got a new hat. Yes, I have a, a new uh, mindset. So, segment four. <laughs> um, I think it will be an eventful day. And uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning. So uh, let's hit the trail. Backwards. <laughs> All right, uh, here we are. Uh, I don't think you're gonna hear that. Now uh, what? Now we're we'll going back to. Uh, what do you think? Second five. So we just finished day four. Good morning, everybody. Here we are at the entrance of segment. Let's go. What do you have there? This is what is called racer grass. Why? Yeah, because it's kind of like it has some sort of thorns here and they stick to you, like I guess you can see, eh, 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 and then they cut you. We are running of to like a few of these, but it's gonna be more to come on section 11. That's what we heard. So uh, stay tuned. We go here, or here, or here. here. There it is. Okay. Do you get many hikers who pass through? Well, before the hurricane, before there was been in the state, right? Yeah, I used to have a lot of guests around me. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully now it starts to come back a little bit. My place well organized down there when a lot of parties, music and everything, but the hurricane yeah. crippled the place, right? A lot of water. In Thank this you so area. much. Wow, it's a heavy one. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, man. <laughs> Let me call her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm open. I'm scared. <laughs> but maybe she's sleeping. No, no, no. Are you have a sip? Yeah, that's all right. Man. Okay. Coconut cheers. This is the best coconut I've had in, in Dominica. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, man. And I just grabbed some uh, chicken, the old chicken. Pretty good actually. Now at breakfast. Huh? We go to breakfast, she's open. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you know, it's your big day, not later. Thursday, 6 Run your kids down.
according to John's mapping and my GPS, we should turn that. Now, it's time for some serious lunch. What are we having? We I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, feels like real uh, old native uh, yeah, yeah. style, yeah. It's good hiking food. Yeah, because it's so, um, you feel uh, how much energy it contains. Oh, the school bus. This is probably the best takeaway package. These are the trail markers that we are following. But sometimes we cannot find them or they have been disappeared by rainfall or landslides or whatever. So we also have downloaded some trail maps that uh, mostly John of the Sofia Guest House has created. He's done a lot of work in clearing trails and stuff and it tells us the way. If our GPS is correct, which is also not the case, so it remains a treasure hunt now and then, but it helps to have a backup. All right, here we go. We're on the Watikabuli. Watukubuli. That's the correct way to say it. And uh, we're six days in. We're about to approach segment seven. Yeah. That's the way to go, huh? Okay, take care, Well, oh, that looks heavy. All right, you take care. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. It's a nice day. The same to you, sir. <laughs> Here we are at the end of segment seven, in front of segment eight. Yeah. This is supposedly going to be a tough one. We still have uh, about two and a half hours of daylight, so we're going to see how far we can get. To be ready for the tough section tomorrow. Ah, this is just a, just the roof, huh? Mm. And, uh, all right. No information. Not so much information, huh? We are here. And we're gonna go see how far we can get. This is, I think, this is Melvin. Yeah, Melvin Hall River. We're gonna try to reach that. So it's basically going. All right, we uh, just started uh, segment uh, uh, eight, and uh, this is what uh, awaits us tomorrow, Mosquito Mountain. Right, we're over here. Is this is where we're going. Yeah. So, yeah, we just started here. Huh? Now we're here. You're here, holding the flag. So let's see. Yeah, we cannot see the the river. Huh? Oh, I can see there's a toilet on the end of the segment. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so we have to uh, wait a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. Gravel gutter. <laughs> so, where are we? We have arrived to the paradise. Here is Watercrest Paradise. It took a few 
weeks of sailing, a few days of hiking, but here is superpower heaven. Full with water. So here we are. Are you uh, harvesting some watercress? Healthy dinner tonight. Wow. Can I have a little close up? Super vitamin C wow. happiness. Is this enough for you? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Then I get my portion now. Oh, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, I'm preparing our uh, king size bed for this evening. It's gonna be a riverside with uh, one million stars. So, uh, yeah, we have removed quite a bit here now, and I think we can uh, sleep here. It looked kind of like over here uh, a few minutes ago. So, I think we're getting there. Because as a hiker, it's important to have a good night and sleep. A million star hotel. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. How's it going? We're getting ready for the next adventure day. Shaking the tent, removing the dinner, <laughs> leftovers. That was it for the dry shoot for today. There you go. He's so flexible. Hey guys. Here we are. Maybe you recognize the place. We made it to the top of Mosquito Mountain. And this solid wooden bench. The promised bench. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel? Oh, that was a mosquito. The mosquito on the top of Mosquito Mountain. It's a spider. Ooh. <laughs> I feel good. A little bit uh, hungry. Yeah. And um, yeah, good we made it to the top. It was quite a climb. So what do we have here? Um, that's like a cassava, which they boil into some sort of cake and add a little bit of sugar. So it's the perfect little package for um, for the trail. Contains yeah. a lot of calories and uh, keep you going for quite some time. Mm. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> mm? Nice. What are you having for lunch? Uh, I'm having um, a sandwich with a little bit of a happy cow, and uh, this is watercress, uh, which you harvest uh, down in the in Watercress River. Pretty exciting. See that? It's not a single sign of civilization. Uh, we just finished segment eight 
which was, which was uh, pretty gnarly. Uh, it's about 6.30 now, and here we are. Uh, segment 9. Yeah. It's ahead of us. So we're probably going to do the first uh, kilometers today. So what are you making here? Ginger lemon. Oh, yeah? Water. Oh, nice. There's a bear over there. Good morning. It's day nine. It has been a rough night of sleep. It was very windy. The food that I ate yesterday did not go well. And today is the toughest segment of all section nine. It's only recommended to very experienced and advanced hikers. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. The hike going. So here we are in our new little house for this evening. How is it? It's great. We have a roof above our heads. We have a flat space. Jungle sounds. It's still a little bit light. It's about to collapse, but it's not collapsing. So the light or the hut? The hut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we wish for? We have a bench. Yeah, it's amazing. We can like put our stuff in places. It's the luxury so uh... And how was the hike today? It was tough. It was the toughest so far. What? But it was the toughest so far. Yeah. 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 Segment nine, yeah. brutal, gnarly, challenging. But we did it. What's your breakfast? Hey, good morning. Um, I uh, I'm preparing some um, uh, oatmeal that we're gonna cold soak. So oatmeal, and some cinnamon, and some uh, like um, mixed seeds and some uh, raisins and a little bit of salt and uh, water and then I let it soak for a little bit. <laughs> so what's going on here? I'm uh, putting an extra layer over my uh, feet. I got uh, quite a few blisters of um, having the wet socks and wet shoes pretty much all, right. all the time. Mm. So this helps. We brought some tape. So should what be tape good. is that? The, um, don't you know. Yeah, have a little close up. It's kind of like a good uh, tape for feet. Breakfast. All right, express your feelings, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Street. Yeah, feels good. Thing. Yeah, after how many hours on segment nine? I don't know, two days. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Yeah. Looking for it. For what? Looking for some energy. Yeah. It's all right, no. So what we have, they can keep. Ten. Ten. That's good. No ten. Yeah. Ten it up. Yeah, thank you. So what? What do you have there? Sugar cane. Wow. How's the sugar cane? So what's your old farming? Banana, sugar cane? Yum. Ashin.
right, we are at segment 10. We just finished segment nine. And uh, look at this little guy. That's where we are going. It's gonna crush some miles. What it says on the car? Struggle is real. Is it? Yeah. Why? A little bit of a ghost mile. at the start of segment 11. We already did uh, finish 10 this morning. It was easy, busy. And now we're gonna start this trail and then we're gonna head to a village to resupply. Oh yeah, there. <laughs> the trail marker. Where did you get those? You found a few laying on the floor here. Yeah, it's like a banana estate. Oh, that one looks good. Sharper than that one. Really? Look at this. There you go. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How was your sleep? Uh, a little rough. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Due to what? Don't know. No. No. It was a very peaceful night. You know, surrounding. Maybe the approaching full moon. Yeah, this little cutie. Yeah, you. What's uh, going on here? Um, we are. Uh, we're gonna cross the river. And, uh, we were told it was going to be a bridge, but also that it was in bad condition. And as you can see, it's pretty bad. Um, it's rotten, basically. So we're going to cross the river down here. Or maybe you want to go. Ooh, that's steep. So what's coming up here? Coming up to a racer grass uh, section over the uh, here on the, on the segment 11. Let's go. Right. Are we going right or left? I think left, right? What? Ask him. Which way do we go? Where are we going? There's a trail to the left, there's a trail to the right. Do you know where? What do you got there? One of my favorite uh, superpowers for the trail food is like the local made cocoa. So it's just pure cacao. Wow. And with uh, probably some nutmeg, cinnamon, maybe some ginger. All right. And it gives a lot of energy. Looks cool. a bit uh, funny. <laughs> yeah, can you uh, take a bite of that thing? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's good? It's not sugared, so you no. can also mix it with some, well, no, with some um, so raisins or <laughs> yeah. some banana. Uh, okay, for uh, for you, if you're, uh, you need to add some sugar to that stuff. But yeah, it's uh, full of good stuff. All right, see you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, oh good. It was good uh, to get all get off all the filth.
Well, so where should we put the camera? Um, Here? A lot of uh, cool spots where we had camped. And uh, hike-wise, it has been good. Very good. I mean, it has been hike-wise, climb-wise. It has been a couple of very tough segments, in my opinion. Uh, eight and nine in particular. And... Um, but we made it, we prepared well for it with food and we have our tent and otherwise you cannot do it. And uh, I think we enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it was a bit adventurous. And then now we are in this little uh, uh, canyon or dried up uh, little creek. River. river crab paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of river crab. And let's see. Hello world. Is the trail is still out there? Yes. Oh, so good. The trail is there waiting for us. We just got up uh, and it's our day eleven. We're on Segment 12. What do you have there? We have uh, something that is, they're called uh, uppercut. It has nothing to do with uppercut at all. But yeah, in, maybe in terms of uh, color. But it's an uh, amazing uh, fruit. How did you get it? Uh, some uh, locals gave it. This is this is all lemon grass. Lemon grass, lemon grass, lemon grass. Oh, <laughs> mosquito repellent. Are you from here? Yeah, from Pebu. Ah, Pebu. What are you uh, having here in your farm? Well, I have dachshund, yeah, plantain, fig. Papo and this and that. Oh. We'll take care on the road. Yeah, we okay. will. You too. Yeah. You have a good day. Huh? You Same too. Good day. We just climbed and climbed and climbed. And then we reached these views, which is the northern coast of, uh, of Dominica. Thank you, Cole. Later, we'll call him on. In 1827, they said hi. This guy has 67 slaves. Hello. Yeah, so what's on the helicopter? Yeah, we do all of them. We pass through Church and Jinito. What's happening here? I made a mistake. It's only like almost 11 and I ordered a beer. <laughs> In my mind it was a later. <laughs> but I have a piece of chicken and a, what are they called again? Bakes. Bakes. Yeah. Have you done it? Huh? Have you walked it? No, no. No? no, no. You want to join us? Well, I have to plan. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Segment 13. The almost the last one. Yeah, that's Guadeloupe. Now we can see Guadeloupe. Right there.
it started to rain and uh, now we're inside. Yeah, that was fast tent pitching, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we already knew where we were gonna yeah. pitch the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, and as you can hear, it's very uh, cozy. Good morning. Good morning. It's what six o'clock? Something like that. And only you and me and Froggy is awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's a last day. Yeah, we have one oh, more night. Huh? One more night. Yeah. True. And it has been a beautiful light here. A lot of nature sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice and no, no one wind. Just, no one, no connection, only nature. Lots of super fireflies. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's quite an experience. We have reached the northern coast of Dominica. So from the south through north. We're on the last segment. 14. Good, uh, good morning everybody, this is Dominica Television. We have two hikers out here on the Watukobuli National Trail. And they just made it to the northernmost point of Dominica. Some water, huh? Yeah, some uh, natural water. Hello. Cool. Looks good, huh? Paradise or what? Yeah, now we're at uh, on a tropical island in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Did you say? We ran out of battery, unfortunately, but now we are fully charged. And behind me, we have the last few kilometers. Yep. Pretty much the one and only night we actually sleep uh, on the beach. And I mean, this last camping spot, we're under a palm tree on some beach. The locals didn't even know there was a beach here. Um, yeah, a few more miles to walk, maybe one. Happy? Yeah, it feels uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm also ready to leave the trail and move on. But uh, for sure, this, this, this last uh, couple of weeks has, uh, has uh, I don't know, changed me a little bit, you know, in a better way. Good morning. Good morning. We just woke up here. Our last, uh, it was our last camping night on the Waitukubuli National Trail. who are hearing your story or reading about your experience, what advice would you have for them if they want to hike the trail, both locals and not locals? Yeah, very good question. Because also when we, well, kind of wanted to do it, everyone told us, like, no, it's not possible. It's not fully open. Uh, some segments have not been cleared. I would say definitely don't do it alone. Go together. 
inform yourself well with the latest. Uh, always make sure that someone knows where you are. Stay hydrated. Protect yourself from the sun. The, the common sense, regular things actually. Um, but to take it easy and have fun. That's uh, probably uh, number one. Because if, uh, if it's not fun, you will not continue. Do you consider to have been the most challenging parts for you or even scary parts for you on the trail? Segments eight and nine were definitely most challenging. Um, like seven, eight, nine, ten, and part of eleven kind of have to be done in one row because in between there's otherwise uh, well there's no places to provision to get food or to to sleep. So my advice is to go for it, do it. Boom! Here we are after twelve days and fourteen segments. We have arrived in where? In the north of Dominica, Cabridge National Park. It's yeah. called. End of segment uh, 14. And, uh, yeah, I just have to uh, add that the end part is kind of like it's this trail hut, but there is no official like segment 14 where it starts or ends. So we just pick the spot that we feel like this is the end. So, okay, let's do a little uh, re uh, recap. Yeah, a little recap. Uh very uh, special island I would say and every day has been uh, different uh, in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah every day every segment has been a completely different part of Dominica, different altitude, we passed through different villages and well yeah the nature is just spectacular with all the rivers, waterfalls, we've been swimming in the rivers. Well yeah every day uh, Probably more times, for me, one of the highlights was also the, um, the wild fruits that we found. That red one. That one. Yeah, thanks to all the trail angels. Thank you, locals. Helped us along the way. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. Anna. Now we're going to celebrate. We go into town and have a... Local juice. Local juice and maybe, I don't know, like, uh, we have not been uh, in a town this big. Yeah. We're gonna walk into now. A village. But this is town. This is town. This is town. Not, not a village for us, you see. Right? Still That's what we learned. Okay. See you. See ya. Yeah, man.